Carrie, right, thank you, Danielle. Historic markers are placed across Madison County to give a glimpse into the community's past, and a new one was added in downtown Huntsville just last week. News 19's Hannah Jones has the story. 703 Adams Street, once the family home of Alice Borman Baldridge and now the home of a new historic marker. We realized when we came across Alice's history that she had to have a historic marker for being the first woman who was elected to public office, for being the first attorney, for that wonderful career that she had in New York. Not only was Alice Madison County's first female attorney, but she held office in Huntsville before women even had the right to vote. In 1915, the Alabama legislature passed a bill allowing women to run for seats on school boards. Ten women ran and Alice was elected. When she debated running for public office, she said she thought that the prejudice would be so great, but she thought that it would serve, it would make it easier for the next woman if she just did it, and she did. One year later, her husband died, so Alice began studying law. She passed the Alabama Bar Exam and practiced at a Wall Street firm in New York City from 1923 until 1957. After retiring at 83, she moved back to Huntsville and lived in her family home where the marker now stands. Alice was also an important figure in the women's suffrage movement. She was a founding member of the Huntsville Equal Suffrage Association and the first vice chair of the New York City Women's Suffrage Party. In addition to this marker, there's also an exhibit at Harrison Brothers Hardware honoring Alice. We actually have uh, Alice's uh, law certificate when she was admitted to practice law uh, in North Alabama. And we have the original ballot where her name was listed in 1916 in Harrison Brothers that people can see. The exhibit is open Mondays through Saturdays from 10 until 5. In Huntsville, Hannah Jones, News 19. And on October 30th, the historic Huntsville Foundation is hosting an event honoring Alice and her contributions to the community. It's a free family friendly event. We've got all the details for you on our website, whnt.com.